Hello and welcome to another video. Today I have a issue from Iveco Daily. It is 2017, 3 liter diesel. I will read this issue. I will modify something on the damp and after that I will write it back. For this job I will use flex. Okay. And because you want to see uh, comparing between tools and you like to have this comparing between good tools. Today we'll have auto flasher, okay? It's also a very good tool. Uh, I use it two, three times. It's from a friend of mine. I take it from him only to make this video to show you another type of programmer. It is very good. I didn't find difference between him and Flex. It is uh, almost similar. Another uh, software is look more like auto tuner, but it's far away. I mean, it's the software, it's something else. And also the programmer is much better than auto tuner. You'll see also why when we go there. I will start first with flex. And after that, we connect the auto flasher. We will see also the difference, the positive and the negative between these two tools. Okay. Flex is connected. Software is also open. Now let's uh, try to read this issue. We go on three liter. This is our issue, 179 horsepower. I tried to uh, read before because we have two types of connection. One is necessary to solder the capacitor. I will show you in one second. Okay. You'll see here. Too much, sorry. One is with normal connection. Okay. And the second version is necessary to put this uh, capacitor, okay, in serial mode. And I try to see which one it is because I don't want to lose the time and I will try to connect to the issue. Okay, you have connection. Now we'll proceed to read the flash. I don't skip, I don't cut because it's also necessary to see how fast it's uh, flex comparing with uh, auto flasher. Because both of these programs are very good. Also, the auto flasher looks similar with auto tuner, but as I said also on the beginning of the video, it has nothing to do with. Uh, Auto tuner is much faster and uh, it's totally different, okay? But we speak more when we are to auto flasher. At the moment, I use Flex. I don't believe it's necessary to buy another programmer similar with Flex. If I will buy something, uh, definitely I, I will go like uh, Galetto or CMD, okay? Something different then. Flex. Okay, what is important, you can calculate the checksum. We save this one. 
Now we go for the EE Pro. Okay, this was fast. I will save also this one. Now I will uh, unplug the ECU and I will connect another programmer. The ECU is connected, the software is also ready to go. These are the connections. They are similar with Flex, also the information. We go back. We proceed to identify the ECU. Okay. Now we go on reading. And he will ask us what we want to do. And we will make first the uh, internal flash. Okay. One thing what you noticed already maybe it is uh, the type of the uh, car. I couldn't find 3 liters with uh, 180 horsepower. I find this one but it's the same issue. And on the end it's important to have the same results. The flash is not so big, but the uh, issue is a little bit old, and this is the reason why he has, has uh, take the data uh, very slow. It's only 4 megabytes, comparing with the new issue generation where we have 8 megabytes, and they are much faster than this one. Okay, he extract the data, he verify also the checksum correction. Okay, we'll proceed to save the data. You notice know also when he put the name on the thumb, it's almost similar with Flex. Now let's go for the EE prom. Okay, we are finished with the reading. I will unplug the programmer. I don't leave it like that because I want to explain you what I like and what I don't like it. Okay, we take everything out. And I will show you what I don't like it now. First of all, the programmer is excellent, okay? I have nothing to complain. It's good. I don't like this type of wires. I also don't like the name put it here, you know, on these wires because you noticed. Let me show you one where I said he have problem. Look how many purpose we have here. It's unbelievable. Okay. We have B7, B15, 10, 16, 
13. Look, I found it. Pay attention on 8. You don't see anymore it's a B here. And on or 8, you believe it can be 3 or something like that, but it's B and 3. Or E and 3 or something like that, but I know for exactly uh, this one it's uh, B8. Also will happen with B9 and all of this one, okay. Then when you plug to ECU, you should take it from here. If you want to be sure, this one will stay like uh, how it is from the factory, okay. Because after that, it's very hard for you to manage to write letters again on the wires, okay? The wires are not so good quality, I tell you honest. It's poor quality on these uh, cables. Maybe it looks big on the camera, but let's show you how it's uh, comparing with Flex. Okay, this one, it's at least four or five times bigger. It, this is not so important, but I, I must to tell you, when you pay a lot of money, at least this uh, wire should be better quality, okay? And also, what I don't like it, you cannot change the pin from here. You have standard. Am I, you have the small one? But you have also a lot of type of ECU where you have big like, let's say, like this one. I will show you two types of. Look. Did you see? This is from Flex. Okay, two types. This one is the bigger size from out of flesher. Okay, you see? It's like only the small ones. And we have the older issue where it's necessary to use the bigger size. Also, when you connect to uh, power and ground, power and ground over here, let me take the biggest one. With this one, okay. For the new type of ECU, it's good. But you have also issues where this size is double. And Flex provide three type of this one, and also three type of the uh, smaller, like uh, I showed you here two, but we still have one more, okay. This is what one thing what they can provide more, or at least another adapter, like this one. As I said, the fact that these uh, wires are so tiny wires, it's not so big problem, you know. It's more than enough for this connection, okay. They are similar with the one, uh, the one who is provided for the factory in the car. But they can do better than that, I'm sure. They should not take negative if they will see this video. It's everything positive about programmer, but the wire, how much can cost a better quality to make a top one, let's say 50. The programmer is in the same range with uh, Flex. It stay on the same price like Flex. If you are trying to take for only for OBD and Bench, the price is similar. If you want to take Flex for license, Flex is, I believe, 1000 euro more expensive than Auto Flasher, okay? On the end of the video, I hope you find this programmer interesting. I'll close the video here. I hope you like this comparing between Auto Flasher and uh, Flex. In the future, I will try to take another one. It's a surprise. I don't tell you which one. Okay, that's it for this video. And like always, thank you for watching. Bye bye.